welcome back to another jewelry bag jewelry jar mystery bag wonderful bag of fun right in front of us here we're going to open this big thing in just a minute it cost me $79 I'm hoping that there are some good things in there we just never know before we start someone asked me to show my rings that I'm wearing so I may just start doing that today I'm wearing a garnet and Marcus sight ring I love it then on the other finger here I'm wearing a Persian turquoise grape garnets and white topaz ring in sterling silver then I'm wearing a smoky topaz in 14 karat gold I did do an entire video on this ring and I'm wearing my little wrap ring with some coral and that is sterling silver and I usually wear that one but someone did ask me to do that so I think that'll be fun as long as I don't forget because I do tend to forget uh, these bags guys I can't really tell you that I picked it out for any reason I just picked it out because it was there and I will try to cut this as carefully as possible I think this video might go a little faster since it's pre-recorded I hope you enjoy it just as much if you do like jewelry I hope you take the time today to subscribe because that's pretty much what we like to do here on this channel talk about jewelry talk about reselling and talk about other things that are on my mind. Let me put this on my lap, guys. It's really hard for me to open it from way over there. But let me cap it off here, take the cap right off of it, and it will jump a little bit. So, I hope you uh, also activate the bell, guys. That'll notify you when I do a new video or when I go live. And I will be doing live videos. I love them. I love interacting with you guys and being able to talk to you in real time. But sometimes it's fun to bring in recorded videos too. So you don't have to sit through all the tangles. Let me pull out some hair and see what we find. That's about halfway there. We'll have a lot to look at today, okay? I'm so glad you're here to join me. All right, we have some kind of... Um, these are acrylic beads on a drawstring bracelet, kind of a hot pink color there. And this is a uh, Santa. Okay, this is, oh, well, let's put the earrings aside and we'll look at those in a little bit. Here's a nice little stretch though. Nice colors, blue. Okay, a ring with a, oh, a sad face emoji. Okay, and then a Christmas watch, kind of worse for wear here for sure. Oh, with another emoji ring there. So we, oh, we have an angry one too. Interesting. Put those rings over there. And we have a chain that is kind of tangled down there. Let me grab them from the top. What is this? A little choker piece. I think I see a sterling piece in there. Let me take this out of here first. My gosh, this cannot be an earring. There is no way this can be an earring, but it is indeed. And this is wrapped around here. Insane. I thought I liked big earrings. <laughs> That's incredible. But someone's going to look fabulous with those on. Those... I mean, I don't know. They lean on your shoulder. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is something. Okay, there's that worn watch. Put that aside. Here's that statement. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is the turquoise one I saw. It's got the mini little white he-she beads. How fabulous. It's got a thunderbird with a turquoise. It actually looks more like brass. So I can't quite tell, but I think it's brass. It's still pretty. It definitely looks like from the 70s. It might be an imitation turquoise. You know, it might just have gotten a, an interesting patina. I'll have to check it. I'm not too concerned about whether it has a hallmark when they're this old, but that's really pretty. I like it. It does have a really simple hook, kind of like what you would see in the 70s. So I'm definitely thinking that could be from the 70s. It's a nice piece. 
Very nice. Actually, you know what? We were thinking about something like this being a bracelet, and I think this one is a bracelet. But I'm going to put that in a beadlot. That's going to be fun for a beadlot. Here's another Bala Lead Safe Nickel Free. I guess it's a bracelet. And that'll go in a beadlot too. That's, that looks like fun. Here's another little stretchy. This one's pretty. It's got some AB coloration there. Very nice. We have the Texan Spirit necklace here. NFL. Here's the emoji with the smiling face. <laughs> That's the necklace. We got the two rings. Okay, this is an interesting necklace here. This almost looks like a bright and very worn though. It's got the matching earrings there. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a Brighton. I think I'll put this in a crafter lot because it has a lot of wear here with rabbits. And I think it's just the beads, <laughs> actually. There. there you go. They are so cute. I think I'll put these in a bead lot, too. Look at those cute beads. Rabbits and stars. <laughs> cute. Here, looks, looks, looks like a Napier or Monet. It's actually Avon. Wonder what's in there. Just a nice gold chain. Oh, wait a minute. It's got a butterfly. Oh, how cute. It's got an enameled butterfly there. That is darling. It's in great condition, too. This is really pretty. This looks very 70s, too. too. It'll go with those layered looks of the 70s. I like it. Kind of goes off to the side like that. That's darling. Very cute Avon piece. And here we have some tangles that we need to work through. Okay, wait, somebody put something with a, a little twist tie. That's interesting. So they put a little twist thing on it. And this is metal, enameled, kind of weighty. Interesting piece. I don't see us. Um, oh, wait, there is some kind of mark, but I don't recognize it. Okay, we have some. We have some of this. Um, what is this? Goldstone, I believe. Very cool. The chips are goldstone. Pretty piece. Very nice. This one is as well, but it doesn't look as glittery as the chips. And here is a, I think it's silver tone heart. Very nice design. I don't see a mark on it, but let me check. I hope you guys are enjoying the recorded videos. I've had a lot of problems with my internet for the last couple of days because of the thunderstorms we've had. So I'm hoping they come back. I mean, I'm hoping that everything gets back to normal. I'm going to put this in a crafter lot. So um, we'll be putting up more. This is heavy, guys. I'm going to check it for sterling and see if it doesn't have a mark. I think it's a baseball. It's a solid little ball there. Wow. Good. I don't see a mark on it. It's very cute though. But um you know, where's my magnet? Well it doesn't stick to my magnet. So I may have to test that. It's really weighty. Very heavy. What is this? Another kid's necklace down there. Oh, here's a mother pearl shell. That's pretty. Oh, that's really cute. I'll put this in my hippie lot. Got some shells all around. Very nice piece of shell there as well. And then some mini shells. Mardi Gras beads. We often get those. This is pretty. Kind of a little... 
man-made stone there. Nice. Some shell beads. That's a pretty necklace. And we've got some puka shells, but these are the imitation type. These are not genuine shell. Blue accents. Same imitation puka. It is. It looks like someone put this pendant there because the pendant really looks like sterling. Like a sterling setting. And then it looks like they just put it on this wire. No, they made it up. They made a. It's got amethyst throughout. I wish they had put sterling findings, but let me see. I don't think it says sterling. It's very pretty. The amethyst is gorgeous. Yeah, maybe it is sterling. I know the the ring actually looks like sterling, but the lobster claw I'm not sure of. Nothing on the lobster claw. And the ring is not soldered. Not soldered. I would very, very likely pull that off of there and uh, put it on a sterling chain. I think it would really be more worthy of a sterling chain. And then just put these beads in a bead lot. I think that's what I'll do with that. That's a very nice piece. It's definitely sterling too. Let me like let me let you take a better look at it. Very nice piece. Very nice piece of amethyst though on sterling veil. I love it. I like the way it has that variation in purple there. That's pretty. It's with the same kind of man-made, um, what is that called? Like a cat eye effect or something. Very nice. Those are pretty though, they really are. Here's another kid's necklace. This one has a basketball, stars, cute. And there's some interesting beads on a long, maybe an anklet or an oversized larger bracelet. These are glass. It's got a little cross, silver tone. Interesting. I'll put those in a bead lot as well because those are pretty. And now we have some shell. These are so cute. I like these. These always, are, I don't know, I'm intrigued as to how they cut those or what they do to, to design those, but that's nice. I like that. Here's a purple one. This one, I, do, I believe, is shell, actually, not imitation. This one's pretty in this purple. I like that. Very nice. More kids' necklaces. Kids' beads there. We have kind of a, I think this is an imitation hematite in the ictus design. Let's do this. Big, big piece here. Almost looks like a belt. It has a green stone, too. Let me see what comes out of here. Okay, yeah, this definitely has to be a belt. It's actually cute. My daughter may like that. Big silver medallions all through. And it's actually in good condition. So she may like that. That's actually pretty too. I like it. Now, what else? Oh, my little kitty cat. These are some kind of polymer clay beads. That is so cute. Then this looks like a little fashion piece here with some beads on a cord. This is also a little fashion piece, a little pendant. 
silver tone. There's some interesting cluster of pearls. Go, oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm going to have to see how this goes. It's just a multi strand. It's actually really nice. I like it. It's got kind of a Tahitian colored pearl and a white pearl. Silver tone. So I'm not sure if I'll put that in a crafter lot. It's a lot of pretty pearls to work with. I may put that in a crafter lot or see if my husband can untangle it pretty quickly somewhere else. Another kid necklace with an emoji. This is one of those necklaces with all the rings. Very nice. Good condition on this one. All right, let's dump a little bit more. Let's see what else pops out of here. Whoa, that is a lot. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Here on I don't know, just some kind of some kind of chain. I don't know, a little black bead there. Never seen one like this. So I don't think this is from the seventies. Say some kind of revival or something. Here's a little drop, very pretty. Green acrylic. A watch, of course. Always get the watches. And we got some more of these stretchies. We got one in blue. Now we have a kind of a garnet color. That's pretty. Here is, oh my goodness, does this say multi strand? I think it is. It is, oh, this is pretty. This is how light. Very nice. Look at those turquoise colored rondelles. I think this is all together. I'm not sure though. And this looks like it's from Loft. That's what it says. So that is from Loft. Let me untangle this real quick. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this within the hour. <laughs> mm. Let me turn this off for a second. All right, guys, I tried untangling it. It's not going to get done. <laughs> it is not going to get done today. I'm going to have to untangle that later. But I think you can get the gist of it. It's really a nice piece. It's got blue and white beads. It's got the howlite beads and some gold chains. It is from Loft, and it's going to be fabulous once it gets untangled. Lot here. Boy, we're building a kid's lock. And then this is a nice bracelet. Boy, that stone there. But look, they didn't finish it. It's unfinished. And that's such a nice little webbing, isn't it? So I will put that in a bead lot. Someone else can finish it off. All right, here we have a necklace that is silver tone, I believe. Yeah, it's got a magnet here. It's very pretty, though. Looks like mother of pearl. Imitation mother of pearl or something. Very pretty. Nice stretch still on that, I think. Let's see. It's got garnet colored. Kind of matches my ring, doesn't it? That's pretty. That's very nice. I think all the stones are still on there, too. Super. Yeah. It looks like the orange one that we got. It, my husband said it took him two days to untangle. <laughs> yeah, no, this one is not as long, but it is also, there it goes. This is pretty. It's kind of a taupe color. Very long as well. Gosh, it's probably 12 strands. Good thing it's acrylic because this thing would be so heavy otherwise. So there it goes there. Nice piece. Do you guys like these big pieces like this? I like the way they look. It's like it's not something I grab immediately, but I really do kind of like the way they look. Arm bracelets. Oh, I've gotten a few of these before. They go way up on the arm. Look at that. That's interesting. 
I really should list things like that just to see if they would sell. I may have to do that. Here is a necklace with a long pendant. It has a lot of wear on it though. I may just salvage that chain and take it off that pendant. I hate when they do that. They couldn't even give me a decorative key ring. It's just a key ring. Mm. All right, now we have some beads here. These are acrylic beads on a braided faux leather necklace there. Some, what is this? Oh, these are cute. They need to be clean though, they feel sticky. But they're nice, they're gold rings all attached. That's pretty, that's a nice look. Just have to put that in the take me a bath section. Blue statement piece, wow, that's nice. Look at that, rhinestones galore and dangles and beautiful rich cobalt blue. They even have two different shades of blue on that rhinestone. Wow, that's pretty. Still stuck in the bag. Okay, here it goes. A little mesh chain. That's interesting. Kind of enameled mesh chain there. We've got the seashells. We always get seashells. Got a lot of them today. Got about three strands of seashells here. So let me get these out of the way. Now it's four strands. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Yeah, and pull that out of there. And now we can get all these seashells together. And it was four strands of shells going into my hippie lot. Some more earrings. We're going to put the earrings over there for a minute. Then we have some glass here. This is also a nice necklace. Seed beads, lots of pretty glass beads on that. Very interesting with all these ridges and everything. This is pretty. This looks like a belt too. I think this is a thin belt. And it is by, nope, no mark. But it's in very good condition. That's a nice belt. Eagle with rhinestones. That's pretty. Kind of a cord there. That's a nice piece. Very nice. Stone on it. I don't know if that's glass or spinel or what, but that's pretty. I like that. The, the uh, cord actually looks like a nicer cord than the other one with the eagle. This one looks like a nicer one. Almost looks like real leather there. I'll have to double check, but it does look like it. Here, oh, we have a little piece of amethyst, a little chunk. That's nice. That's really pretty. I think it's on a silver tone chain. But that's a nice piece. These are all acrylic. No, there's glass, I think. Oh, they're acrylic, yeah. These are glass. Some of them are glass and some are acrylic. And then some are wood. So that's interesting too. Oh my goodness, we got a soccer ball last time. Now we have a baseball. Remember last time we got one with the soccer balls? <laughs> now we got one with the baseballs. Wow, those are quite interesting. It's just a little fashion piece with some black beads. It's pretty though, it's kind of a Y. Necklace, those always look pretty. Another key ring. I don't know what it says on it. It's got some kind of leaf on it. Is this a bangle? It's a little square bangle with a cross. Interesting. Looks a little gothic though. Don't you think? I guess it has this as the pendant there. Looks like that volcanic rock. Okay. Another tangulation that we need to face. Let's see what is in here. 
I'll double check the chain, but it appears to be just gold tone as well. Yes. Okay. Then we have a charm here. It's a, it's a swimmer. And the starting block. It kind of looks like sterling from the back. So I'll double check it. Test it. But I do not see a 925 mark on the back. Very nice though. This pretty star on the cross. It's very nice. Let me see what this mark says. I see something there. This one says Sarah Coventry. And I don't think it's silver. Nope, it is sticking to the magnet. But that's really pretty. I like that. A little vintage piece there. More silver tone here. And let me just unhinge some of these. Unhook some of these here. It's kind of lonely without you guys in live chat. <laughs> I will say that. All right, here's an elephant. This is really cute. Elephant with rhinestones, silver tone chain, silver tone setting. The rhinestones on the eyes are blue. AB stones all over the body. Super cute necklace. Very nice necklace. And then this is the other chain that was on there. And I think this chain is just silver tone as well. It is. It's a tangled chain. I may use it for another pendant or something once I get that untangled. And then we have another fashion piece here with the gunmetal as well as silver tone beads. I think it shows a little bit of wear, but I'm not sure if it's the other necklace or this no. one. This one does not show wear. I think it's just supposed to be kind of a mixture of metals there. So that's a nice piece. Fashion piece there. This one's cute with the little tassel. I love this look. Long tassel, rhinestone dangle there as well. I don't know where this goes. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> that's another necklace that got in there. Okay. Premier designs. Yeah, this one's a premier design. I do see a little wear on the chain now. So I may have to take it off of there and put it on another chain. Because look, it almost looks like they put it there anyway. See how it's actually on a hook? On a lobster claw. Here's a silver tone chain, probably for a little girl as well. Children's jewelry here, really abundant today. And then this one is the same. This one's kind of tangled. Has a little dove with the rhinestones missing. Oh, this is heavy. This is really heavy. I think it's a brass. And actually the, the beads in between, the long beads, are metal as well. Very weighty. The pendant that was on the other chain. I don't know if it even belonged there either, but it looks pretty worn either way. More. So far, this bag has not been that exciting for me. But that's what happens with these bags. You just never know what you're going to get. Look at this thing. Got all bent up. Is that really soft? Tin? <laughs> oh my goodness. That'll go in the recycle bin. And there's another one. Wow, and these get bent just from being in those bags, I'll bet. We did get a couple of pieces of amethyst. That wasn't too bad. Here's a nice stretch bracelet in blue and gold. These are glass. There's a fashion ring. All the stones are there. That's pretty. Gunmetal color. It's not even a stretch. That's a step up. So that's pretty. Very nice fashion ring there. I like that. 
Ooh, this is cute. That's interesting. I wonder if someone made that at home. Look at that. They even put a dangle on it and everything. That's really pretty. I love the colors, especially the purple. That's really pretty. Oh, I like that. These are glass, but these purple ones don't feel like glass. They feel like acrylic, but these dangle ones are. Very, very nice. I like this. And we've got some more bent bracelets. Look at that. Wow, this was a $79 jar, guys. You just never know. You just never know if you're going to get your money's worth. It hasn't been too, too bad, but it hasn't been that exciting either. This one says Baseball Mom. What is this? No matched earrings yet either. It's a little cross earring. That looks like Howlite. These are... This is pretty. I think it's silver tone, but it's a nice necklace. Very pretty. I don't believe it's silver. Nope. But it's very cool anyway. I like the toggle on it too. Very bright. This looks very 80s. Another bent bangle. These are cute. Got about three, four of those. Those are easy to put on too. Cute. Slide these on. There they are there. And oh, one of these magnet things. These are good to carry with you when you go thrifting. <gasps> these are actually kind of cute. This one has um, some beads that look kind of like cloisonne. And the colors are so pretty. I like that. I like the accent beads they put in there. They're pretty. Can you guys see that? And these are nice. You can wear them as bracelets. You can wear them as a necklace. And they're just magnetic like that. So, then if you open them up, they can be a necklace. They're fun. Do you guys like those? Have you ever gotten those and worn them? Here's a cute charm bracelet purple stretch it looks a little big well no maybe not it's got really pretty charms sea life charm there dolphin butterfly the seahorse that's cute this is copper nice i hope it's real copper it looks like it it's weighty like it yeah i think this is real copper it's even got a dangle let's see what it says this one is also premier designs so that's nice and I do believe it is real copper. I like that. So that's nice. Okay, more kids stuff. Best friends. Here is what? Pick your plum. I don't know what that is. It's a cute bracelet, actually. It's gold tone, kind of a distressed enamel look to it. That's cute. Wasp. These are genuine pearls. And kind of a hematite look but they put a barrel clasp on it and I mean you can actually put them on I put some on the other day but it's not as easy as a toggle or another type of clasp for bracelets it just seems kind of illogical but what do I know very worn out charm bracelet another kids piece big sister here's a Kind of a warding off of the evil eye beads on this one. Leather. This is actually real leather. And some rhinestones. Probably put that in a crafter lot. Looks like some pieces might be missing. Here is a silver tone heavy heart. Very heavy. It's cute with the heart toggle that goes to the front. And then here's another glass necklace. This is cute. These are very pretty. Cute on the display. 
Yeah, these are pretty. I think I'll put this on a, in a bead lot too. It's nice to get interesting beads to work with. This one says uh, Jesus saves on the little wood medallion there. And I believe this is two necklaces here. Or it could be a double strand. It could be a double strand with two medallions. And it does have a big tangle here. All right, here we go. It's a layered necklace. It's cute. I like this. It's got a little star medallion there. And then this one is just kind of like little dots. So that's pretty. I like the little layered looks. I think they look very nice. And we did not get any matched earrings. I am so surprised. And the earrings aren't that exciting either. But those that's what we have in earrings. Look at that. I think we only got one. Did we get any matched? We did not. We didn't even get that many earrings. Lots of kid earrings too. And then this necklace. I think I showed you this. Soccer. Um, I guess the best pieces were probably the the amethyst and some necklaces. The um, I'm going to test this. This may still be sterling. I'm going to check because sometimes sterling does tend to get that way. And this kind of like a holdover from the 70s. So that's probably the best couple of pieces that we got. These are it's cute too. Some statement pieces are nice. There is, um, what was the other one? Loft. So, you know, all together, I'm sure there is more than eight things in here that I could make $10 on. So in that case, it's really not a bad jar, but it was far from being a home run. You know, and I certainly thank you for being with me while we look through this jar. I hope the next one is a lot more exciting for us, but that's just the way it goes with these jars. That's what makes them fun. That's what makes me going back, makes, keeps me going back for more is that I know that there will probably be a better bag in the future. I hope you hit the thumbs up on the way in or out, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't taken the time to do so. Please do it today. And I will talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.